Good morning, YouTube. It is Tuesday, and I am Amy, Keto Maniac, and I am doing a check-in on my way to work. Um, yesterday I told you guys I wanted to kind of get back to the basics and, you know, get back to vlogging, do really focus on, on the way that I was eating previously. Really, logging is the key, in my opinion, because me being completely mindful all the time is what makes the process work for me. So, when I weighed in this morning, I was back at 214, so I'd kind of been going up. I think I got up to like 217, and kind of down and up and down and up and down and up, probably for a full month now. So, um, this morning when I weighed, I, I, don't know, I just felt right. It felt good. So, um, and I didn't, you know, to be honest, I didn't change a lot in the way that I eat, but I have the kind of personality, I just really have to be mindful constantly. I have to be super aware of what I'm eating all the time. So like, even when I had little snacks and stuff, I tried and I did log every one of them, you know. Um, and to be honest, I, I think I had 30 carbs, full carbs, not net carbs, but 30 full carbs. I think I was underneath the net carbs, but not the full carbs. But I did work out yesterday, and that of course adjusted in uh, my fitness pal. And and it was just interesting that even though you know technically I did go over, I felt like I'm gonna go back and look and I'll take a picture of it. But I felt like the macro um, levels were closer to the percent that they should have been, you know. So. I feel like it was a way good success and it kind of just helped me remember again what goals I have you know short-term goals I have a, um, a wedding in October in Australia that I really would like to be under 200 pounds to go to just for no other reason just for comfort on the airplane and you know shock and awe with my friend of course you know and in September, my husband and I are just going to take a little weekend trip that, you know, ultimately, if I stick with it, there's zero reason why I can't be under 200 then, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I think originally my, my hope and my goal was to be under 180 by the time I went to Australia. And again... It is doable. I just have to stick with it, and I have to, I have to be more diligent, and and not allow myself. I mean, I'm not going to go so far as to say cheat days, but in some ways they feel like cheat days because of the fact that ultimately I end up with more carbs than I should. So I guess that is a cheat day. You know, I think I. It's hard when you're not necessarily eating things that are not on your diet. And so you think, okay, I'm not really cheating because I'm eating everything that I'm supposed to on my diet. But if you're eating twice as many carbs as you should every single day, you're cheating. So I have to be honest with myself and I have to be transparent with myself and I have to log so that I know whether or not that's the case, you know? So yesterday was a good success. I'm very happy and encouraged and I think I'm going to just keep on going with it, keep on trucking. It is interesting, I had, um, I had mail yesterday that Robert told me about when I got home, I opened it up and looked at it and I have my very first summons for jury duty. Uh, I'm, I'm a little nervous about it. It's not till the end of the month, but I'm a little nervous about it anyway you look at it just because I've never done it before. Um, my work is such that it's going to actually take some preparatory time for me to actually, to get my, my coworker ready to do my job in case I get picked, but this will force me to do some stuff that I needed to do anyway. And it's on my, my year review to get this, um, training and stuff done. So it has to happen. 
just in case. I mean, yeah, the percentage of chance that I'm actually going to get picked is pretty low, but I, I can't, I can't plan on that. I have to get it ready. So, you know, it's kind of like when you, when you invite people over to your house and you have to clean up, you know, deep clean so that it's good. This is, this is what it's going to do for me is it's going to force me to do things that I definitely need to do. So it's going to be interesting. Um, and I've never been picked before, so I'm definitely not going to like try to encourage them not to pick me because I very much believe in, in the judicial system and I've always wanted to be a part of it. But, and my husband who moved here from Indiana has done it. He's been picked before and I'm like, I have lived here my entire life and they've never picked me, but yet you come and move into our state and they pick you. So that's a rant for another day. <laughs> But I'm excited about it. I, it's it's going to require a lot. And, you know, to be honest, I'm a little nervous because if I do get picked and it lasts more than a week, then it's going to be over my anniversary. And then the next week is going to be my, you know, trip with my husband. And so that's, you know, it's like, ooh, you know, it could really mess some stuff up. But we'll see. I'm not going to, I mean, you know, worrying it has no value really. So I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to continue on with what I'm doing and whatever happens, happens, come what may. And, um, yeah, so it's going to be a good day. I'm excited. Um, like I said, I'm really happy with the results that I've had in the first day of my re-transformation. And I'm ready to see what today holds. All right. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. And as always, keto on.